What's going on guys? In this video we're going to build an animated counter. So basically we have these numbers down here, so YouTube subscribers, Twitter followers, likes, connections on LinkedIn. And when I when we come to the page or we reload the page, you can see that it starts at 0 and it animates up. So we're going to build this from scratch with HTML, CSS and of course JavaScript. But if you want to skip the HTML and CSS, I will put a timestamp so that you can just see the JavaScript code if that's all you're interested in. But we're going to use a little bit of Flexbox. We're going to use the grid to align these columns. So let's go ahead and get started. So in, in VS Code, I just have three files, index.html, style, CSS and script.js. And we'll start off with the HTML. So I'm going to go kind of fast here. We're going to just give this a title of animated counter. and let's add our style sheet and then i'm just going to grab the font awesome cdn because that's what we're using for those icons okay so it's just the font awesome 5 cdn and then in the body let's be sure to add our script which is called script js and then for the markup it's going to be pretty simple we're just going to have a header and in the header we'll have a container and an h1 that says animated counter and then under the header we're going to have a section with the class of counters plural and in here we're going to have a container to just to push everything to the middle and then four divs so basically each section with the the icon and the numbers is going to be a div and it's going to be a grid item we're going to use css grid So in the first div here, let's put an icon with a class of FAB and then FA-YouTube and I want to make it larger so we can use FA-4X, which will make it bigger. And then underneath that, we'll have a div with the class of counter and just put a 0 for default. Now we need a way to to basically assign a number that we want to count up to. So we're going to use a data target attribute here. and set this to let's say 60,000. All right. And then underneath that we'll have an H3 and say subscribers. So that's pretty much the format for each section, so we want four of these. Okay? And this one here is going to be Twitter, so let's change the icon. And for the the number here, let's do 15,000 followers and then we have whoops we have uh, Facebook and for Facebook let's say we have 9000 likes and then for LinkedIn uh, let's say we have 5000 connections All right, so that's it for the HTML. So we'll save that and I'm going to open this up with Live Server, which is a VS Code extension, and it should look like this. Now, this is very ugly, so I'm going to go ahead and style this. So let's jump into our CSS and I'm going to import the Roboto font from Google Fonts. Okay, and then let's just add a basically like a reset here. We we'll set the box sizing to border box on everything and then I'm just going to remove the margin and padding. All right, and then in the body, let's set the font family to Roboto. And I'm going to set the background So I'll give it a color of light sky blue, but I'm also going to give it a URL and it's just an abstract background. So I'll paste that link in here and all this will be in the in the code pen in the description if you want to just copy some of this. And let's set the color to white. Okay, so if we take a look, it should look like that. All right, so next thing I want to do is uh, I'm actually going to the body I'm going to display as a flex box. So in the body we'll just have the header and the section here as flex items and we can align them how we want. I basically want to push everything to the bottom. Um uh, so let's say display flex. That'll actually make it a row. We want it to be a column. We want it to go up and down. So let's say flex direction set that to a column. And then for the justify content, I'm going to use flex end because I want to push it to the bottom. 
and we need to add a height which we want to take up the entire browser so 100 viewport heights so that will just a lot push everything to the bottom now as far as the container we don't you know we want this stuff in the middle and remember we have a class of container inside both of these uh, elements here so let's say container and we're just going to set a max width of 1100 pixels let's set the margin to 0 auto so we want the left and right to be auto so that it's centered and then just an overflow of auto okay so that'll push the stuff to the middle uh, now the this right here I actually want this to be up here and in the middle so I'm going to change the um, alignment here let's just take the header and let's set that to flex one and then set it to a height of 100% and I'm going to actually display this as a flex box just so I can align the line into the middle both horizontally and uh, vertically so we'll say align item center and justify content center and if we take a look now it's right in the middle now I do want the font the um, font size to be a little bigger so let's say header h1 and let's set the font size to 60 pixels. Now we want to work on the counters section, which is this right here. So I want this to have like a, a, a dark blue background that goes all the way across. And then we want to use the grid to, you know, separate these into columns. So let's take the counters section. And let's set a background color, let's say um, hexadecimal 0 F 479 A. So give it a dark blue, make sure the color is white. And let's do some padding. We'll do 40 top and bottom, 20 left and right. And then I'm just going to add a border top. Let's say three pixels, light sky blue. and solid. All right, so it should look like this. Now we want these to be in uh, uh, columns with the grid system. So if we look at our HTML, we have this container and then inside there each of these divs I want to be a grid item that we can align. So we want to we want to take the container that is in counters and that's what we want to display as a grid because that's the parent to our grid items. and we'll add a grid gap just some spacing 30 pixels and then let's set our grid template columns to repeat four times one fraction so four even columns and if we take a look now these are aligned correctly i also want a text align center okay and then let's uh style the icon so say i And I'm just going to set the color of this to that light sky blue and then add a little bit of margin bottom. So five pixels. Okay, so it should look like that. Wait, the color didn't change. And that's because this should be counters. Yeah, there we go. So now we have that. Now the, the number, obviously, we want these to be much bigger. So let's say counters. And then remember, the div has a class of counter. Okay, the number right here is wrapped in a div with a class of counter and also a data target attribute that we're going to use in our JavaScript. So this let's set the font size to 45 pixels. And then I'm just going to set 10 pixels margin on the top and bottom. Okay, if we take a look, it should look like that. And then the last thing I want to do is just make this a little bit responsive. If I go past 700, I want it to look like this. So just two columns with a border. So we'll go ahead and add. Uh, let's add a media query here. Okay, so we're going to say if this is a max width of 700 pixels, so basically anything under 700 pixels, and we want to take the counters container. And instead of let's see grid template columns, instead of repeat four, we would just want two. So one FR. 
Okay, so if we take a look good now, I just want to have a border under the first two divs here. So the way that we can do that is take counters container and we want the direct div and we want the first and second. So I'm going to use nth. This is a pseudo selector. It's going to be nth of type one. And then we can just grab this because we want the second one as well. So this will be nth of type two. That'll take the first two divs and then add a border bottom of let's do one. pixel light sky blue solid and then just padding bottom of 20 pixels and that should do it. So let's take a look. Good. All right. So now is the fun part, which is the JavaScript. And there's actually not a lot. We have under 30 lines of code here. So first thing I'm going to do is bring in the counters. Now, If we look at our HTML, we want to grab all of these divs, right, with the class of counter. So to get those, we're going to use document dot query selector all not query selector. That's if you want to select one item, we're selecting all of the classes of counter. Okay, and that's going to give us what's called a, a node list, which is similar to an array. So we'll be able to loop through it and do what we want with each item. Now, I'm also going to set a variable called speed, which I'm going to set to 200. And this is going to be basically what we divide the target by um, so we can set an increment because we need to have some kind of increment to count by. Right. So basically, the lower this is, the faster it's going to go. And I'll show you that I'll give you an example after. But let's take counters and let's loop through. We can use for each on a node list. And this takes in a function. We're going to say for each. counter we're going to actually let's um, we're going to have a function here called update count and we'll use an arrow here so in this function we're going to get the target of the of whatever counter we're iterating through so let's say counter dot get attribute and we want to get whatever that data data <laughs> data target is okay because the attribute we were looking at is this right 60,000 for the first one 15 and so on so we want to be able to get that and then I guess let's just console log that and then we'll call update count right here okay so it'll just call it once and it should show us four values and you can see we get the target now these are strings right if we do console log type of and we take a look there's strings I want them to be numbers and we can do that just by adding a plus sign so if we now look now they're numbers okay so we have the target as a number now we want to get the count whatever is in the actual uh, element so whatever this is we want to grab that and put that into a variable let's close that up so let's say not count const count And set this to counter dot inner text because that'll grab whatever is in that. And we want this to be a number so we can add a plus sign here. So now we have the target and the count. So to get the increment, what we want to increment by, we can just take the target and we want to divide it by whatever our speed is. Okay. And remember the lower, I believe, yeah, the, the lower it is, the faster it should count up. So we have our increment um, and just to show you that. So you can see the first one is 300 and then we get 75, 45, 25. So it's just it's just taking the um, target. So in this case, the subscribers is 16,000, right? And then dividing it by 200, which gives us 300. Okay, this one gives us 75, 45, 25 and so on. So we have the increment. Now we want to count up from that, but we want to have an if statement because we don't want it to just keep going. We want it to stop if it reaches the target. So let's say if the count is less than the target. And then we'll have an else here. So if it reaches its target, we just want to display whatever that number is. So we'll say count dot inner text and set that to the target. Okay. now if it's not if it hasn't reached the target yet, then we're going to take the 
counter and set the inner text equal to whatever the count is plus the increment. Okay. Uh, and then we need to keep calling this update count function. So we're going to call we're going to use a set timeout here. And what set timeout does is it runs a function. So we're going to run update count every whatever. So or not I shouldn't say that's uh, set interval set timeout. We're going to wait uh, whatever. So let's do one millisecond. So after one millisecond, it'll run this update count. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's save. And we can see we have the numbers. And if I reload, it just counts up. And if you want to see each count in each iteration, we can console log the count. And it's just going to increment by whatever this is, which is the target divided by whatever we put as the speed. So if we go back and we look in our console, it starts at zero, right? Because that's where we're starting. And then you can see the first iteration. So these first four, because it's you know, we have four counters and you can add and remove counters and, and you don't have to change anything in the script, which is nice. And then the next four. So the next one, 600. So it goes from 300 to 600, 75 to 150. And it just keeps going until that target is hit, which are these. All right. So if we increase our subscribers to, you know, 80,000, then it's autumn. It's going to just go to 80,000. So it's it's pretty, I guess, scalable. You can change this. You can you can take away counters. You can add new ones. So pretty cool. And then if you wanted to count slower, we could change this. Like, let's make this 2000. And if we go back, you can see it takes a while to count up. It takes a long time and we have an issue here, actually. You see. Yeah. So it finished. But you can see how it's, it has a point five for some numbers. So we actually don't want that. Um, So what we'll do is where we set the inner text to the count plus increment, we'll use math dot seal, which will just round up. So that way. Yeah. So now there's no decimals. And that's just that takes way too long. I mean, if you want that effect to last that long, that's that's fine. But I think 200 is a good number just to kind of give you that, you know, that little initial effect for a couple seconds. All right. So, I mean, that's it. And you could implement this into your own site. Obviously, you don't need to use this design or whatever. All you need is, you know, the div with the, the data target. And that's pretty much it. You can put it anywhere. You can use as many counters as you want. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this and you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.